bold and beautiful Spools reveals that Deacon is so madly in love with him that he seems to be drowning in Sheila's sweet love. Deacon couldn't stop thinking about Sheila every time he was away from her. Of course, Deacon fell in love. Deacon's time in prison has been so long that he's been living in hell, and he's happy to be back. Now that Deacon is once again living with himself, he's also found the woman of his life. Deacon vows that despite all the obstacles and difficulties to marry Sheila, things are not as easy as he thinks. In this situation, Sheila didn't belong to Deacon. He couldn't help but see Sheila beside Bill. Bill's her life-saving benefactor as long as Bill knows that Sheila doesn't love him, Bill will definitely not let her go. He even tried to accuse Sheila of murder to protect Sheila, and Deacon accepts to let the woman he loves be with another man. At the same time, he will have to leave Sheila. Of course, Deacon will not accept this, but he needs Sheila, and both have feelings for each other. After many days of thinking, finally Deacon couldn't take it anymore, and he planned to kill Sheila and run away with Sheila. Sheila, after learning about Deacon's reckless plan, was shocked, and she couldn't let Deacon continue to commit crimes. Although Sheila tried to stop him, it was too late. Deacon sneaked into Bill's house and took advantage of Bill's sleep, and Deacon stabbed him to death. Because of the sudden stab, Bill could not defend himself, and he was killed right in his bed. And everything Sheila witnessed, Sheila will never forget. Bill's help before leaving the house, Sheila cried and apologized to Bill. The two then ran away together. Besides the fact that Hope was raped by Thomas was spreading throughout the town, while the two were working together, Thomas got sick and he showed his cruel face, and after which Thomas forced him into a corner of the room and began to rape her. But the worried Liam had always thought about had it finally arrived, and Hope shouted in despair. Most of the rooms are soundproof, and so no one can hear Hope calling for help. After everything was done, Thomas threatened Hope not to tell anyone about this, or he would kick Hope out of the new project. Hope will soon lose her job without Thomas's help. Knowing the weakness of Hope is why Thomas stepped this debauchery. Hope says she won't let him go, and Hope suffers when threatened. She knew this was Hope's last chance to work, so she was forced to keep quiet. But this trespass has hurt Hope. She will never be able to forget.